Greetings all and welcome to AlgoFox. In today's video, we are going to talk about AFL called as VWAP. In this AFL, we have target and stop loss and also two trading mode. This AFL is backtest enabled, scan enabled and also fully automated. Any AFL that we develop will have following feature. The AFLs are scan enabled, explore enabled, backtest enabled and also given to you with source code. That means this AFL will stay with you forever and you can share this with your friends and family. Also the AFLs that we give you work on all time frames and are fully automated. Let us talk about VWAP AFL and how exactly it works on AMI Broker. To add VWAP AFL to AMI Broker, click on the plus button, click on new blank chart and then go to the formula editor. In the formula editor, click on this open folder and locate where you have put your AFL. I have put it in the basic AFL folder and this is the VWAP AFL. I'll click on this VWAP and click on open. The moment I click on open, the VWAP code will pop up in the window. I'll just click on apply. The moment I click on apply and close this AFL editor tab, you will see VWAP code being plotted on the chart. I'll right click and close the upper chart. Now you will see that I have VWAP indicator on my chart and I have around 180 stocks on which I can use VWAP AFL and you will see that I have VWAP applied on all the charts. Now I can backtest this particular strategy or even scan and send signals generated by scanner to AlgoFox. To do all of that, I have to just click on this plus button and click on new analysis. When I click on new analysis, a new analysis window will open up. Here I can do scan, explore and backtest all together. To do that, I'll have to first select the VWAP AFL in the analysis window also. Again, we'll do the same activity. Click on this open icon and select VWAP and click on open. The moment I click on open, the VWAP AFL is plotted. On this AFL, we have this following parameters. To check the parameters, just click on the parameters and these are the parameters in the VWAP. We have two modes, intraday mode on or off. If we select intraday mode as on, then it will square off all the position at 315. If the target or stop loss is not achieved, and it will start entry at 9.15. You can choose at what time you want to stop the entry and at what time you want to square off. Also, if you switch off the intraday mode, that means it will become a positional strategy. Once an entry has come, it will go on for days together until and unless your desired target or stop loss is met. Also, when we talk about target and stop loss, we have two modes of target and stop loss. One is in percentage, the other is in point. You can select target in terms of percentage or point. For now, I have selected 1% target and 1% stop loss. Apart from that, we have backtest setting. We'll talk about backtest setting in a while as we go ahead. First, I have loaded this VWAP AFL and now I am going to run the scanner. To run the scanner, I'll first select the time frame on which I want to run the scanner. To select the time frame, go to the settings and select the time frame. For example, I want to run this strategy on a 5 minutes chart. So I'll click on 5 minutes and click on OK. The moment I click on OK, then this AFL is now applied on a 5 minutes chart. Now I can choose to what number of scripts I want to run this strategy on. I, I can create a watch list and add that watch list in the scanner. I've already created a watch list and I'll add that by clicking on this funnel, which is also called as a define filter button. I'll click on this define filter. Choose list 3. In list 3, as you can see, I have around 180 stocks and click on OK. And the moment I click on scan, I'm basically scanning all the 180 stocks which have generated enter or exit signal in last 90 days. If I want to see entries only for today, instead of 90, I'll just make it as say 1, remove 90 and add 1 and just click on scan. And now I'll get entries that are generated only today. Similarly, if I want to explore, I'll just click on this explore button. I'll just click on explore and you will see that the entire details of buy price, short price, LTP is available in the explore window for all the trades that have happened today. Similarly, I can backtest the strategy and check if the strategy is working or not. To backtest, we suggest you to backtest for at least 90 days. So I'll just backtest say for 90 days by just clicking on this one and making it as 90 and then simply clicking on backtest. Now we are backtesting the strategy for last 90 days. 
and in last 90 days this strategy has given us a profit of 227% where the winning accuracy is around 44% and losing accuracy is around 56%. So this is how you can scan, explore and backtest any strategy. Whenever you backtest a strategy, remember the following points. First is leverage. Use leverage only in intraday mode. Never use leverage in positional trading and in, even when you are using leverage in intraday mode, use proper leverage. For example, in my AMI broker, you can see that I am using a leverage. To know how much leverage I have used, I'll go to parameters, scroll down in the backtest setting and check the account margin. In account margin, the leverage is 0.1. 0.1 basically means 10x leverage. 1 divided by 0.1 becomes 10x. So 0.1 basically means 10x leverage. If I want 5x leverage, I'll make it 0.2. 1 divided by 0.2 will become 5x, so forth and so on. So, so, so say if I want 3.3x leverage, I'll make this as 0.3 and then click on OK. And now if I backtest, now I'm backtesting with 3x leverage and now the same strategy has given me a profit of 76%. Similarly, apart from backtesting, you have to also remember how much brokerage you are paying. So you should always add brokerage tax and slippages in your backtest report. If you don't add that, then your backtest report will give you unrealistic returns. To add brokerage taxes and slippages, usually in Indian market, you can calculate all of this by going to bro brokerage calculator like Zerodha brokerage calculator or Upstocks brokerage calculator. We have calculated it for equities and futures. It is approximately 0.03% of your turnover for buy side as well as for sell side. So cumulatively it will be 0.03% for buy and 0.03% for sell approximately. You can add that in the AMI broker. To add that simply go to the settings and in the commission and rate click on percentage and add 0.03. The moment you add 0.03 and click on OK. Now brokerage and taxes and slippages are added and now if you click on the back test now you will get backtest result with brokerage slippages and taxes removed from your actual profits. And the third thing that you have to note while backtesting is that you do a detailed study of the backtest report. Check the factors like risk reward ratio, max drawdown, sharp, sharp ratio etc. These will help you understand what is working in your strategy and what is not working in your strategy. You can get all these factors by simply clicking on this report. The moment I click on report, I'll get the entire report of my strategy. I've invested 1 lakh rupees. It has become 1 lakh 76,000. How much, how many trades I have taken? How many were winners? How many were losers? What is my drawdown? What is my ratio? All of this is written in detail here. Apart from that, I can also click on charts to see how my money is growing. As you can see on my chart in the month of October and November, I've made good profits. But after mid November and in December, we made some losses. And in December, we made again good profits, so forth and so on. So this way you will come to know how much profits you have made for a particular month, how much loss you have made, what is your drawdown. And, on, and all these factors will help you improvise your strategy. So to summarize whatever we have seen so far, in this AFL, we have seen how to scan and explore, which will also help you automate your trades directly from scan and explore. We've also learned how to backtest a strategy and how factors like drawdown, win ratio, sharp ratio will help you make money by improvising your strategy. Also, of course, if you want to automate this strategy, you can see our videos on automation and how you can integrate AlgoFox with these AFLs and automate your trades. You can get VWAP and other 10 AFLs at a nominal cost of 12,000 rupees. In 12,000 rupees, you'll get all these 10 AFLs. We're going to talk about detailed explanation of all these AFLs one by one in our video series. I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to talk about one more AFL in detail. Thank you.